Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Once again, I'm Ned from Ned's Tech. It's coming to you live from the basement fortress of seclusion. Don't worry, ma'am. I am from the internet. I'm coming from the internet. Uh, there's, there's a lot of stories about Bill Gates these days. Bill Gates is one of these individuals, of course, who have made an obscene amount of money. And one thing I learned about rich people really quickly after watching The Wolf of Wall Street is that if you have money, you can automatically make you a better person. So Bill Gates has all kinds of money. There's a lot of people who had a lot of money, like uh, Rockefellers. Jeez, I could go down lists all day of people who had like an obscene amount of money from bad things that they do who end up making charitable organizations in order to make themselves seem like a better human being and the bill and melinda gates foundation is definitely one of them now bill's definitely pulled some shady stuff maybe not as bad as the rockefeller rockefellers it's too early but anyways they're basically divorcing because bill was unfaithful the board of directors told bill gates bill you gotta stop flirting with the staff you gotta stop sending these emails to the staff you gotta a, you're a married man, Bill. And I keep coming back to this haunting thing that Chris Rock said a long time ago. A man is basically as faithful as his op. And that shit keeps running through my head. I don't want it to be true. It can't be true. Is it true? So one thing that really pissed off Melinda Gates, understandably, is after Epstein was already nailed and convicted for soliciting sex from a minor. Bill Gates went and hung out with him. I'm pretty sure he was on Pedophile Airlines. Pedophile Airlines was the plane that flew people to and from Pedophile Island, an island that was given to him. I believe it was given to him by Victoria Seeker. Now, another thing is that Victoria Seeker was definitely involved in the Epstein thing, but nobody points a finger at them. Everyone's like, no, we're not worried about that. Epstein did not kill himself, by the way. Jeez, Bill, couldn't you just keep it in your frickin' pants? So it should be interesting to see how all of this ends. Now, one thing that's really interesting to me is there's a lot of people that look out there and see famous people and think that since they did a few famous things or a few good things, that they are a good person 100%. But life is more nuanced than that. It's, uh, things aren't so black and white. Like, we all know about Steve Jobs. He definitely had some shady stuff. Talking about the Lisa. It's like people think if they get a certain amount of money, then uh, they're invulnerable. Life is strange, man. Anyways, folks, that's it for me. Net from Nestec. Have a good one. Take care of each other, folks.